Doug Shaw Memorial Stadium in Myrtle Beach will play host to a doubleheader on week one of the 2012 football season. Chuck Jordan's Conway Tigers will face the Northwestern Trojans in a five o'clock game on August 25th of next year in game one of what is being called the Surf and Turf Classic. That will be followed by the Myrtle Beach Seahawks hosting the Irmo Yellow Jackets. Yeah, I think this event could be one of the biggest events in the, in the country in, in high school football without a doubt, and I think it's headed in that direction already. Um, I've already had people call me that have heard about this wanting to get in. A Texas marketing firm that will coordinate the event promises to bring fans to the beach from all over the region. My first call is going to be to ESPN and say, look what we're doing. Bring your guys to Myrtle Beach and let's put these ball games on ESPNU and get the national attention they deserve, plus promote Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach Mayor John Rhodes believes the Surf and Turf Classic will bring in some big bucks for area business. We think the first year it could pretty well bring in a couple million dollars impact during a time of year that things have dropped off. Mayor Rhodes has run the Beach Ball Classic basketball tournament into a major success story over the past three decades. He wants to do the same with football. And you could be 16 teams for it's everywhere. Because, I mean, you could look at four games a day easy. The Surf and Turf Classic will expand to four games over two days in 2013, with North Carolina powerhouse Richmond County playing Myrtle Beach High in one of the matchups. Mark Haggard, News Channel 15 Sports. Cooper's pass complete to Trey.